Tonight, I'm... I'm here to say goodbye to all of you. in your lives following us around like dogs. What crawled up your ass? How much did you want for it? Johnny, wait up. Don't do this. You could still change your mind. Get over here, man. Fuck this band. Not your crowd, not your noise. Do your own thing. Bastard. Miss you something awful. See you in the next life, friend. You're late! Love it when you're mad. Get my southern blood pumping. Get in! Silverhand! Hey, Shaden! Get us in the air! Here, put this on, and it stays on! Got it? Let gravity do its thing. Explosions 
Satan rocks the foundation tower. Crumbles, chaos, screaming, roll credits. Exit window's gonna be tight. Jacking in. Surrender immediately! Words fly. Can't see bats to rats, shit, gnats. Mainframe's not your playground, Murphy. Come on! Evac announcement! Broadcasting across all frequencies and let's get moving. I need Sheesh. Back up here. Who wrote this manifesto? Really need me to answer that question? Jesus, Johnny. Fell off the deep end. That's coming from a chair jock. Come on! Get ready! I'm impressed! He's a goddamn extremist! Shido 2, Bomb's name was what? Wrap it up! We got a Delta! The Demolitron. We're good to blow. Shaka Elite incoming! There, Run Johnny. for it! Shoot the cables! Get the rotors spinning! We're on our way! Now done yet. Still need to feed this to their subnet. Fucking knew it! This was never about corporate colonialism. This was about your groupie output, wasn't it? No, you wouldn't understand, Rogue. Giving you four fucking minutes. Chopper's not gonna wait one sec longer. Door lock breached. Arasaka sons of bitches incoming. Love you, Spider. All world loves me. Evacuation ongoing after an unidentified terrorist organization released a manifesto threatening violence. The terrorists stating their desire to, quote unquote, topple a monument to corporate colonialism. Night City's mayor, Imbole Ebunike, has issued a statement declaring that he will bring the full force of the law to bear in response to any act of terrorism. Going now to our reporter on the scene at Arasaka Tower. Hopefully he can shed some light on the situation as events unfold. All set. Now get out of there. They're moving up. Hit the roof quick. Murphy! 
door's sealed, but it won't hold for long. Run, Johnny. Like the wind. Smasher. Told you, Johnny boy. Told you I'd end you someday. Try once more. You associates. Who are they? How did you acquire fistful material? Gonna give good cop over there a chance to say something? Come on. <sighs> Which terrorist organization do you belong to? How did you acquire fistful material? <sighs> Don't look too pleased with your efforts. Let's see. Jokes at Hanas Yuzur. Hot damn. Done and gone. My husband died in that tower. Fate's worse than death. I didn't want him to die. Naze Kono Yuna Koto. Why did you do this? To bring an end to the madness, you freak. Hitoa Usotsuki, Jibunji Shimoazamuk. だが、シャワ違う。シャワ有便だが、彼らは決して嘘をつかない。死者の言葉には、つつましさがある。始めろ。And you, who are you?
than she looks. Now, listen, dog. I have done exactly what you asked. So let's you and me figure this <laughs> Attention. Do you know a Ripadoc whom you can trust? You. You were at Compeki Plaza. We must get to Ripadoc quickly. Victor. 
Who fixed us up? We have to get there somehow. Call someone. Anyone. All right, all right. Greetings. My scanner indicates you are outside the surface area. Just come pick me up. Need to get to Misty's Esoterica in front of Bix. Of course. A vehicle is en route. It should arrive in less than 20 minutes. What are you doing? Hey! The personal link is damaged. Please proceed to insert the jack below the ear, though not too deep. There should be auxiliary neurosockets between her lymph nodes, beneath the SCM muscle. If I hit the vein by mistake, she will die. Indeed, as she will if you do nothing. I think I have the socket. Now proceed to connect. Let's get her inside. I cannot hold it. I need to rest. That your blood? Misty! Pressure's tanking! It's neurogenic shock. She's dying. Gotta cut my way through the occipital bone. No other way. There is risk of... I know what I'm doing. How is she? Slower on the men than you, but looking better every day. Describe them to me. Blinding lights. It's loud. I'm on stage and almost can't breathe. I'm so damn full of hatred. And then I let it all out into a mic and I realize it didn't help. I don't feel any better. And then I promise not to laugh. I plant a bomb in Arasaka Tower. Nothing there to laugh about. Night City looked different. Strange. And I... I hated it. Hated everybody. Every inch. It was too real. Even for a lucid dream. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. There's a personality construct on that shard. Dreams you had were from his past. Z 
saying I experienced another Psyche's memories? How is that even possible? You two are connected in a way I can't make head or tail of. Two? Me and who? Like, who's the other? Johnny Silverhand, a terrorist. Real talk of the town back in my day. <sighs> anyway, that's not what's important right now. Never given me that look before, Vic. What is it? You, uh... Don't got a lot of time left, kid. Say what now? The biochip. It's basically a bomb. Fuse lit already. You don't have much time left. Much... life. A few weeks, tops. Silverhand's construct is overriding your consciousness. Gradually taking over your body until... one day you'll just be... gone. V, it's important you get all this. You'll fix me up, right, Vic? If I could, I would, V. Believe me. But this is... It's way beyond what I know how to do. You're the best of the best, Vic. Why can't you help me? You want the long story or the short? Don't own it. A thing. Not one D. Okay. There was... is... a construct. A psyche on the chip. That of Johnny Silverhand. You jacked it in your chip slot. Nothing happened, right? Until you died. Bullet in the head from Dexter to Sean. How do you come back from something like that? Low caliber. You lucked out. Not least thanks to another poor decision by Mr. Deshaun. The nanites off the chip started fixing the damage. Then they took your hand and coaxed you off the path toward the light. You are Dr. Victor, and I'm your monster. <laughs> Perfect. Your body's only a body. You can modify it, replace it with chrome, hell, get a new one altogether. Your mind, though? No, oh, that's a whole nother story. From the biochip's perspective, your brain cells are a tumor that needs to be scooped out, while your body's an empty shell to hold the construct. So this fucking terrorist wants to wipe me and take my place, take my body! It's not willful on his part, it's automatic. Inevitable. And neither of you can stop it. Vic, you've always come through for me. If there's nothing you can do to help me, then... What the hell do I do? Tell me, please. Vic. I wish I knew, kid. Misty? You're asking too much from an old-timer like Vic. Come on, V. Let's get you home. And then he died. And I thought I was going to die with him in my sleep. Sleep's a small hint of death, the inevitable. Can't actually tell if I'm awake now. I mean, I could be dead already, right? Not something to focus on, V. Let it go. 
Here. Got some meds for you. Omega blockers. Taken regularly, they'll keep things from progressing too quickly. Also, they should keep that guest of yours calm and quiet. Pseudoendotrizines from me. Effect will be opposite. It'll speed things up. Free the demon, so to speak. Gotta lie down. Here, got one more thing for you. Vic pulled this out of your skull. A lucky charm? Promise you'll try to get some sleep? Misty, wait. Um, about Jackie. Yeah? Jack was the best friend I ever had. I'm gonna miss him something awful. If he was here, he'd tell you to get your ass out of bed in the morning and do what you need to do. But right now, you need rest. So sleep. Please sleep. Gotta get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way, you included. Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? even talking how the fuck should i know the fuck kind of joy toy are you supposed to be fucking ghost off <laughs> who you work for start talking You never, asshole. Now like that! Stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger! I can feel it. Our minds touch on you. I'm like mold on fruit, creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. You hear me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the engram. I'm out there somewhere. 
gotta be. Gonna kill you! Do it. What are you waiting for? Takemura here. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. Hmm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. up here in this city. Hey! Hello, I'm Arif Iqbal with WNS News. Today is a sad one in our city's history. Mayor Lucius Rhine has passed away. We learned of Mayor Rhine's death from his family. He died peacefully in his sleep. The exact cause of his death has not been released, but initial reports suggest coronary implant failure. The remainder of Mayor Ryan's term will be fulfilled by his deputy mayor and closest associate. Well... Holt. Holt has also announced plans to run for mayor in the upcoming election. Today, we all mourn the untimely loss of our mayor and dear friend, Lucius Ryan. When we've dried our tears, we must You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorino Barasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. Been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away.
Why you figure she skipped town? I tried to locate her, but had no success. I suspect she covered her tracks. You said Parker could help you remove the relic. Does she work for a corporation? Don't think so, no. Can you expand? Don't matter how much perfume a corpo sprays on mornings, by lunch that's replaced by the stench of skullduggery. Only thing I caught from Evelyn was determination. And I do stink of skullduggery? Nope. You're starting to stink, period. Hmm. B? Is that all? Really should be going. Wait. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice? In Night City? I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. So what, we stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true, he's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka, betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey! I was listening to that! Shut up! Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. Hmm. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, He's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Why are you looking for Hellman? 
He was the one to alert Saburo san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place, the club called the Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there, Rogue. She take you for a suit? No. She saw me as Saburo Sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she would not manage to now. Honor Among Thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. You're an Obu Arasaka degree? I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Helma, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka's still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you've got some nerve. First you're out to kill me, now you want to be my pal and make like nothing happened? You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't watch it dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. Why should I trust you? Remind me again? Trust me, don't trust me. I don't give a fuck. It's the least of our worries, anyway. You are the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you've had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What would I say to her? I got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. Listen, Tell need to find out. Anyway. I really don't want to talk about her. Know where she is? What I just say. Drop it. I won't. Can we meet? Let's meet, please. I'm glad. You at Lizzie's?
Hey, doll. How can I be of assistance? Actually, gotta go. Of course. Goodbye. Look. Hey, haven't I seen you here before? Got a good memory for faces. Bar's closed. Sorry, Chu. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den. Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Sky. Just don't let me catch you messing around, okay? Whoa, whoa, start again. What is it you want us to do now? Beat some sense into him. That don't work. I don't know, you slid. I embarrassing herself again. Hey, where are you going? Nothing to see back Let here. Let it lie. Judy's friend. You done with that back, will you? Yep. Back to the bump and grind. Stop telling every joy toy you meet to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? You so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guests. Zeus, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. You just don't give up, do you? Got nothing. Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Seem to know how the heist went. Meaning you did talk to her. I know how you fucked up. Got all your Doombas killed like a real pro. Caught some lead myself, too. Boo hoo. Occupational hazard for you, Mercs. Sure, I took a risk. We all did. 
But it was Evelyn who gave it to us in the first place. She knew what this was from the start. Fine. Looks like we're all in this piss pot together. But you're desperate. The writing's on your face. Okay. Let's just say I'm pretty much fucked. Biochip we clept during the heist is killing me. Albeit slowly. Abby commissioned the job. Might know how to stop that. That's why I need to know who hired her. Huh. Let's say I believe you. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. I'd look for her there. And where is that? Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Mega Tower. <laughs> Luxurious. Wait. Um. Just let me know how she's doing. Okay. Give you a call. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, V. A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram and a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? Forget Evelyn. Admit it. This is about Judy's virtues. Good shit, if I say so myself. They call me Mr. Hands. If you're looking for Pacifica jobs, call me. Name's B. And what? Look out! No pleased to meet you. I'm truly honored to meet you. You got any biz? Call me. Hey, look. Don't fucking kill me. Kako Okada, the Lady of Westbrook Estate. When you find a moment, come see me. We must settle our accounts for Sandra Dorset. You did quite well, you and that friend of yours. Until then. I see the only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. 
guns by our side. What have I missed this time? Enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. I think Judy's lying. Why? A little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Samurai. And saved. Now bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. Interesting. Is that normal, or...? Who can say what is normal? You're clearly a unique person with... unique tastes. Our system can handle it. So who will it be? Angel or Sky? Looking for an Evelyn Parker. She work here? Hmm... Give me a moment. Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. I just want to talk to her, that's all. Please, no need for concern. Your doll will talk to you about anything you wish. Huh. I'm sorry, did she finally say anything useful? Fuck the menu, let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef, point blank. So who will it be, Angel or Sky? Meaning? Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their guards close, fine. We'll play our own game. I think an angel looks good. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. Looks like I might be a little short this time. So, we look forward to seeing you again when circumstances are more favorable. So how's this all work? An algorithm pilots the doll's motor functions. It takes your profile data and transforms into experiences in real time. Memory dampers on the doll's behavioral chip block any recall of the session. So there'll be no trace of the meeting. Well, I could say yes, but that would strip it of mystery and suspense, wouldn't it? Once you're in there, you set the stakes. You're saying it's not dangerous, but there's some risk involved. That is one way to put it. One thing is for sure. You never get what you expect. Consider my interest peaked. <laughs> <laughs> 